Today we're going to talk about the health and culinary benefits of maitake mushrooms. These are gourmet mushrooms. Yum yum. This is the maitake mushrooms we bought from Costco. It's one of the gourmet mushrooms commonly sought after by millions of mushroom lovers. They look a little bit feathery. They are also called hang in the woods. They are very delicious. And uh, you, when you don't soak them, you don't get wash them with a lot of water. If you see dirt, you just brush off the dirt and uh, break it by your hands. These are commercially grown mushrooms uh, by a company called Shogun. Seems like a appropriate name, Shogun, <laughs> because uh, the original history of uh, in Japan of uh, this mushroom, it was very much revered. Uh, in in Japan, uh, some people call it the, the dancing mushroom um, because it's uh, it's a, like a treasure for anybody who would find it back in the days of uh, the shoguns of the warlords that existed in Japan. They were just crazy about these mushrooms because of their gourmet value and medicinal value. They are very fe feathery. Yeah. And shoguns apparently would pay the the weight of the mushrooms in silver if they were found. So no wonder people were dancing. In Japan, the locations where maitake mushrooms grew were carefully guarded and known as treasure islands. Uh, maitake mushrooms can also be found in eastern North America at the base of hardwood trees and maples and birch, but mostly oak trees. They can weigh as much as 45 kilograms or 99 pounds in the wild. That would be a gold mine. I wow. would like to find that. Me too. My God. That's humongous. If I ever find one, I would keep that location a secret. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> if it wasn't until the 1970s, the late 1970s, that humans were able to grow them commercially and enjoy them year round. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it took that long before they finally figured out the right conditions and to make, to grow them in commercial, uh, find the right strains that they can reproduce over and over again. Yeah, and not only is it a gourmet mushroom, it has a lot of medicinal qualities. Uh, traditional Chinese medicine is, is, is in, in Japanese, uh, it's, it's used uh, quite a bit uh, in, in Ayurvedic uh, medicine as well. Um, we can't make any specific claims, but it's been used for thousands of years, uh, uh, and the, there's known benefits. And there's actually some uh, animal and clinical studies, human studies that have taken place, but they're limited because, of course, big pharma cannot patent these uh, mushrooms. So they can't make any money on it. They're not going to throw money at a, a big study, but it's still some studies support some of the things. It may help uh, maintain blood pressure. It may help strengthen and improve the immune function. It may help uh, colds and flu. It may help type 2 diabetes. It may help lower cholesterol levels. Uh, it inhibits the growth of tumor and cancer cells in lungs, stomach, breast, colorectal, prostate, bladder, liver, and, and even uh, leukemia. It might help the side effects of uh, chemotherapy because it does um, uh, reduce the uh, impact of radiation as well if you have radiation therapy. It has Im immunomodulary and anti-inflammatory properties which means your immune system gets tuned up or down depending upon what might be uh, your body recognizes as an attack. And inflammation is one of the big enemies, you know, the first things that happen when your body gets attacked by uh, bacteria or a virus. Um, you can make tinctures out of this as well, but it seems a shame. They're so delicious, I'd rather just eat them. But uh, uh, alcohol tincture exhibits antibiotic effects against E. coli and Staphylococcus aureus which you know can be a super bug. The mushroom has also been found to possess inhibitory uh, activity against chlamydia bacteria. Hey, 
We're gonna stir fry these. Warm up the wok. Nice olive oil. It's pretty hot. Put in the green onion and ginger. This is a frozen green onion, so it's kind of pretty seasoning. And when you get the aroma, these are pretty meaty. Yeah, they look nice. Very nice. Yeah. I'll put it in a tiny little bit of water just to make sure they don't spoil. You can get these at Costco now, and uh, also I noticed that they're at Farm Boy, if you're lucky. They certainly beat any of those button mushrooms. Oh yeah, well, for sure. I think these are my favorite ones next to Chanterelle and, and Morel. It's right up there, gourmet mushrooms. What about truffles then? Truffles are really good too, but that's a different class. I guess when you think about it, the, the price of truffles is probably the, their, their value in silver. Like these used to be in Japan during the feudal days, feudal times. But I don't think uh, truffles have as much medicinal qualities. Oh, um, yeah, it's just the flavor. You know? Yeah. I'll sprinkle a little soy sauce. This soy sauce is a bit dark. Yeah. So, that's okay. so you just got ginger, onion, soy sauce, and you got a bit of garlic in there too, I think. I will put in the garlic. Too much water now. I have to let it uh, cook up. Yeah, it, it, it will. And this can be used as uh, an additive for uh, all kinds of different dishes if you want to. Yeah, you can put it as a, on your toast, in your spaghetti, pasta, noodles. And you can even use it for your pizza, as I read, but I haven't tried it yet. You can put it in the soup too. But, uh, we want to taste the pure flavor. Yeah, you can uh, freeze it apparently too, but I don't know what, how, what kind of condition it's in when you thaw it out. I just rather have it fresh from the store. Well, we can do an experiment. Mm. I'll let you know later. Yeah. Now the mushroom is cooked. It's uh, very delicious. We are ready for dinner. Thank you for watching. See you next time.